Hello, everybody! Home stock Was I'm not even picking up this book, because this story is real. A lot of those stories, I don't even know if they're real anymore. There's a fibber. I'm a bit of a fibber sometimes. But about the tuna casserole begins with my first friend in Fort Erie, Cliff. I, I, I just moved across the country from, from Nova Scotia to Ontario. I went down with my basketball. Across the street was an elementary school. Just was like, hey, can I play? Two kids. I was 11, he was 11. And we started playing basketball. And from there, I was like, hey, I'm gonna go. I got my new best friend. I was so excited. We go home and his family was amazing. First of all, it was crazy because it was the first time I think I ever heard a British accent. His parents were British. It was like, I couldn't even understand. It was like, what was happening? The first time I ever going over to their house, they had a baked tuna casserole. The first time I ever had tuna casserole, I was in love. It was a baked macro, cheesy macaroni with little pockets of canned tuna. And it was fucking incredible, okay? Tuna, macaroni, cheese, casserole, whatever the fuck you want to say, it gets a bad fucking rap. No more. So, first things first, let's make a row, everybody! Wait, why am I starting? I'm starting with fucking flour. No, Maddie, shut up! We're gonna start with that amount of butter. What's that? One, two, two big tablespoons. Maybe we'll do a little more. Do like three tablespoons of butter. I'm not even following my recipe, okay? You guys can follow my recipe if you want. I don't want to. Melt your burr, little butter melt. And, uh, you know, shout out to Stefano's good friends over here. This isn't even a fucking paid ad. I use this at home. I use their sauce. Nice people. There you go. Send the check if you want. But these are just my homies. So we're going to add a bag of macaroni in the pot boil. Water! A little salt. No problem. Give it a stir. Okay, calm down. Give it a stir. We're cooking macaroni. Give it a stir. We're cooking macaroni. Give it a stir. Cause you don't want your noodles. You don't want your noodles sticking to the bottom. There you go, full song. That's a full song for you guys. Now we're gonna add our flour. Three tablespoons of flour. Whisk this in, da 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 da. Cook this out. We're getting a blonde roux going here. I don't want a lot of deep color just because we're making a Mornay sauce, but whatevs. Be very careful, this is very hot. Now we're gonna pour in some milk, whole milk. That looks like enough. What's that, like a cup, cup and a half? So now that we added the milk, we gotta bring this up to a boil. Once it comes up to a boil, we will know the thickness of our roux. We're gonna add a little bit more milk. Let's get this up to a nice temperature. Then we're gonna turn it way down because we don't want to scorch it. We're gonna add in some flavoring agent. Gonna add in a big old tablespoon of yellow mustard. Goes a long way, I feel. And we stir that in. That's gonna go a long way with making a cheese sauce. So now I got some grated Monterey Jack. Let's whisk that in. Okay, cheesy, cheesy, cheesy. Old, old sharp cheddar. About, you know, a cup to two cups of each. Beautiful cheese sauce here. Let's watch our macarons. I gotta finish making my sauce, so the macaroni's here. We're cooking it al dente. Al dente, al dente -es. So our noodles are done. Look at this cheese sauce. Beautiful cheese sauce. I'm gonna add a cup of cream cheese as well. So we're gonna just let that melt in. We're gonna add five beautiful cheese slices, because this shit makes it all come together. So we just peel these and let these all melt in there. If you don't want to add these and you want to be, you know, healthy or whatever you call it, you know, you do you. I think this is a great stabilizer. This makes sure that the cheese sauce stays, whatever's in this, whatever chemical or agent is in here, this makes the sauce real nice. We're just gonna whisk the cream cheese and the cheese slice. Oh. We're gonna add a touch of salt. There we go. What a nice Mornay. How, how, how easy is that? You got equal parts flour, butter, milk, add some cheese, Mornay sauce, cheese sauce. We got our pasta. 
We got our cheese sauce. Now I'm just literally gonna add just enough cheese, just a little bit by a little bit. And we're just gonna incorporate, oh yeah. I'm gonna add just a little more. This is such a beautiful, easy dish. This one's for you, Cliff. We got our cheese. And you want it to be just a little bit, like it may look a little like soupy. Because if you have it dry when it bakes, it's gonna absorb, a lot absorbs into the noodle, okay? So we got, uh, what's this, two cans of tuna? We got about two cans of tuna. So we let's just incorporate once again. I want little pockets of tuna. This is just like we're making a little bit. So I'm putting in about three cans worth. Okay, so the recipe calls for four cans. I'm adding about three. I just want little pockets of tuna, little pocket. Oh, mm, I'm like a little alleyway kitty cat. That's how the kitty cats sound. I'm just gonna use my cast iron pan. Use a cast iron pan for casseroles, frying, whatever you want. So here we go. Oh, <laughs> look at that. I'm gonna cover it just in some breadcrumbs, some beautiful panko. Panko, a little spritz of oil on top. There we go. A little oil, I'm gonna just do a little salt on top. Boom, two-handed over the shoulder, boulder, over. Can you even say that? Cast iron pan, put your boobs in this or your man breasts, either or. Okay, <laughs> okay, I'm canceling. Bye-bye, we're good to go. Put this into the oven. We got our tuna casserole pan, little panko, little olive oil on top, a little bit of salt. Going in the oven, preheated at five, how much? It's preheated at 550 degrees. For some reason, we're gonna lower that to 400. I'm gonna do a little cleanup here. We got a tuna, beautiful macaroni cheese casserole coming to your face in a couple minutes. Keep your fucking dick in your pants and have a great day. We'll see you soon. I think it's ready. Babushka, this is what I'm talking about. I was just kind of blown away. I ate this casserole and it had like crispy breadcrumbs on it. Like I certainly never had like panko on anything, like nice breadcrumbs. I was just blown and for some reason I always remember it. So let's dig in here. Oof, look at that. This isn't like, this isn't pretty, but this is beautiful. That crispy panko with the creamy cheese sauce, that Mornay with the tuna. Let's try it. Come on, this is the food that brings you back. You know, I'm just playing basketball with my best friend. No worries in the world. Riding BMXs, smoking cigarettes in the woods. You know, that's what it's all about. A little hot sauce, just a little hot sauce. There's a fresh cracked pep. Here we go. Oh, let's go! This is incredible. This, I'm so happy. This is so simple. Canned tuna, macaroni casserole. But look, like, look at this dish. You can make it in a cast iron pan. Did you get your Maddie Madison cast iron pan? <coughs> the panko! The panko almost got me, but no. I would never let the panko get me. You know what time it is. Home style cookery, it's Sunday. Make a tuna casserole, macaroni. I love you guys. I love everybody, except for the losers. You guys know the losers out there, eh? Fuck off to the losers. I love you guys, though. You know what time it is. 